So today's our um, monthly meeting for the Healthy Communities Together Gloucestershire Stewardship Group. So there's a group of nine of us drawn from the voluntary sector and the public sector. Gloucestershire is a county that has a population of just over 660,000 within it and it is generally a pretty healthy county but within the county there are differences for our communities as well. So we know that the average life expectancy for males is 80 years old and for females is 84. But then when we look at the differences in that life expectancy between the wealthiest and the poorest areas, we know that there's considerable difference. We also know that whilst that's our life expectancy, that actually the healthy life expectancy is considerably lower than that. And again, we've got differences for our populations in terms of that healthy life expectancy. HCT Gloucestershire is trying to create the conditions for good partnership, good collaboration in, in a complex world. And I think the thing that really stands out for me is that how matters for us infinitely more than what. So deliberately setting out to learn how do we behave, how do we relate to each other, um, rather than taking what is a more traditional kind of project-driven, task-driven approach. For, for many years, we've always wanted attribution. You know, we've got some money, so um, we've got to decide what we're going to do with that, and we want to make that line to that attribution. So we can say that was us. We can tell our funders that's what we've done. We can tell the population that's what we've done. But in that environment where the people who are getting multiple funding, funding, for example, or things have become emergent and people have started doing stuff without funding, they want to scale that up. You can't attribute that down to us because we've suddenly decided that we've we either been asked for support or have offered support and provided support and often or not we make a contribution into that system rather than attribution so it makes it very difficult and um, and sometimes we have to frame that about what we're putting into the system not what's coming out as a result of what we're putting in. I think discomfort is, is a really good way of defining it and more than anything it's my own discomfort uh, contribution not attribution the conversation is the work aren't concepts that I'm particularly comfortable with. You know, in fact, two years ago, I'd have rolled my eyes at those concepts entirely. Uh, making sure that I fully understand them and embrace them has been really difficult. And at, and at times it's been obscure and it's been quite a journey for me. But I can honestly say that I think HCT for me has been the best bit of learning I've done in my professional life. I think partnering differently requires um, leaving your power at the door and treating everybody as equals and leaving, you know, and, and giving them space to contribute and um, actively listening to different perspectives and different ideas. So the event on the 29th um, is called Titled Structures of Togetherness. It's a gathering to bring a whole range of different people together from across the system in Gloucestershire to diagnose the health, really, of our structures of togetherness in Gloucestershire. Because if we're trying to collaborate to tackle some of the big issues that we're facing, whether that's health inequalities or the environmental crisis, we know that radical collaboration, deep collaboration based on trust, is going to be vital to, in any way, tackling those um, issues. So we're just asking the question, how good, how strong, how effective are our structures of togetherness and implicit in that question is how might we not be working well together where might be the weak points where might we um, not be really really strong together and how and what can we do about that we want to see equality of opportunity um, and people given a fair chance to live their very best life and live a health, healthy happy life um, and, you know, what we see coming through in terms of the data and those health outcomes, it shows us that actually opportunity isn't equal, um, which just feels fundamentally unfair in a, in a wealthy modern country such as the one we live. And, you know, a, and a county like Gloucestershire, which is an amazing county, um, you would have thought everyone would have that equal opportunity. My call to action would be anyone that feels there is a change needed to create fairness and equity and feels passionate about that should play their part. Um, and, you know, come and be involved with us, help, help shape this system change to a, to a fairer Gloucestershire with us. Um, but absolutely play your own individual part as well.